Could a simple sore throat be something more? I had a sore throat and swollen lymph nodes that I ignored for months. When I was finally diagnosed with HPV-related throat cancer, I was shocked. The treatment was grueling, but I got through it. Today, I am cancer-free and loudly advocating for HPV awareness and vaccination. I wish I'd known HPV could lead to this. Hi, I'm Fred Wyan, Senior Advisor with the American Sexual Health Association. In this video, we'll break down the link between HPV and throat cancer, how to detect early signs, and how to protect yourself. First, HPV, or human papillomavirus, is very common. Nearly everyone who's not vaccinated will get HPV at some point in their lives. It can be transmitted during oral, anal, or vaginal sex, or even intimate skin-to-skin -skin contact. In the U.S., HPV infections are estimated to cause about 37,000 cases of cancer. It's also important to know that HPV causes 70% of throat cancers, often years after an initial infection. That's sometimes also referred to as head and neck cancer or oral pharyngeal cancer. A lot of people know that HPV can cause cervical cancer, but fewer people understand that it causes throat cancer and other cancers as well. I thought I just had a lingering cold, but it turned out to be cancer caused by HPV. The hardest part was losing my ability to taste and dealing with dry mouth after radiation. However, I adjusted my lifestyle and I'm grateful for every single day. My message to others, don't be afraid to talk about HPV. It's more common than we think, and we need to break the stigma. In the past, we thought throat cancers were caused really by smoking and drinking alcohol. Today, we know that HPV is the most common cause of these cancers. Recent data shows that there are about 12,900 cases in men each year compared to 2,300 in women. Throat cancers are also diagnosed more often among people over age 50 than they are among younger people. Some common warning signs are a lump in the neck that doesn't go away, a sore throat lasting more than a few weeks, trouble swallowing, voice changes that sound hoarse or raspy, or ear pain. The good news is there's something we can do to prevent throat cancer. The HPV vaccine is great at preventing HPV infections. Vaccination can start as early as age nine and is recommended for all genders through age 26. Early vaccination is best. Fewer doses are needed and the immune response is stronger. Getting kids vaccinated before they ever come into contact with HPV is best. Since 2018, the HPV vaccine has been available for all people ages 27 through 45. So talk to your healthcare provider to see what they recommend for you. But ideally, people should complete all doses of the vaccine before they become sexually active. As a singer, Losing my voice to throat cancer was devastating. I had no idea HPV could cause cancer. The treatment left me unable to eat solid foods for months and I had to learn to speak again. But I survived. Head and neck related cancers are more common than people realize and we need to talk about them. So, what can you do? First, get the facts. Second, consider the HPV vaccine. It's safe proven and can prevent up to 90% of HPV-related cancers. And third, if you notice symptoms, don't wait, get checked. Get vaccinated. It can make the difference. There's no standard screening for HPV-related throat cancer, but regular dental and medical checkups can help catch early signs. Know the symptoms. If something doesn't feel right, get checked. Share this video with everyone you know. You never know whose life you might save.